October 18th, Wright & Co. Law Offices. Whew, what a day. This is no time for relaxing, Nick. Say, so you think WP's got a chance? I guess that really depends on the people we found out about in today's trial. The director and the producer? Yeah, them. Well, what are we doing here, then? Let's get to the studios. Hello, guys, and welcome to TGN, the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about open games that today we're going to be playing, Phoenix Rite Ace Attorney. The last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and continued uh, pressing Miss Old Bag, and we found out that there were many other people at the studios, not just the assistant, Miss Old Bag, the defendant, and the victim. We found out that there was the the producer, the director, a bunch of bigwigs, and just a lot of people that we need to go investigate. So first I want to examine a couple of things. We've got the plant. Mia's favorite potted plant. Maya's been watering it so much lately it looks a little swollen. She's either trying to make it grow or she's perfecting her water torture technique. So that's the same as before. Let's go ahead and talk to Maya. What to do? What do you think we should do? What do I, huh? Why don't we do what you just said? We've got to get the scoop on this director and producer. Oh, right. Then there's no point hanging around here. That's what I've been saying! Let's go to the studios pronto. So, you notice they're already kind of poking fun at their own running thing, how every single beginning of the investigation we have what to do and any ideas. And so they're just like, what's the point of Phoenix asking this question when they've already established what they're going to do? So... I really like this series because they can poke fun at themselves. Any ideas? Hmm. We don't have enough information to make a case yet. That's exactly the same, same thing you just said yesterday. Admit it, you don't have a clue what happened. There's not enough information. So this investigation will go a lot faster than the previous one because before I was examining everything, but now that I've examined everything, I'll just kind of be doing what it takes to go through the studios and get everything because there's no point in investigating every single thing twice. But first of all, have you seen my attorney's badge? Hey, see this? You really like showing that thing off, don't you, Nick? And he doesn't even talk about his ego at this time. He's just silently rejected. Detention Center. October 18th, Detention Center Visitor's Room. Oh, Mr. Wright, thank you for earlier. Not at all, we got lucky to tell the truth. You can say that again. Let's not. <laughs> so, WP, do you have any leads that might get us going in the right direction? Hmm, sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. We can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Y y yes <laughs> And the sad music's back. Just want to check if there's anything new. This guard monitors the visitor's room. Oh, the, doesn't even talk about Will Powers that time. Smile for the camera. Okay. Did that one have ellipses after it? Because normally I think it just has a period. Anyways, the fanboy. Do uh, fanboys sneak into the studios often? N not that I know of. That security lady is pretty strict with them. But in today's testimony, didn't she say that they were often hanging around? The kids really, really love the Steel Samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. The director. Was the director present at the morning run-through? Yes, yes he was. He was directing how the Steel Samurai and the evil magistrate should move. Why didn't you tell us that before? Well, just the studio asked us to keep quiet. That has nothing to do with this. I hate to repeat myself, but Nick here is a newbie lawyer, fresh off the bar. When he loses, he's going to lose big. I... I see. <laughs> Whose side is she on? <laughs> you aren't hiding anything else from us, are you? No, I sure hope not. Have you... seen my attorney's badge? Excuse me. Thank you for showing me that. Whatever it is... I wish I could think of some way I could help you. S sorry. <laughs> so yeah, we've learned of some new people and October 18th, 2.16pm, Global Studios Main Gate. 
No one's here. Right, now that they have Miss Oldbag in custody, I guess they don't have everyone, anyone else to replace her. Hey, in the guard station, look, she left her donuts. What? I wasn't going to eat them. Even though this is the third case of the game, this still has some pretty funny dialogue, so if you're ever playing Ace Attorney or watching like a Let's Play, I feel like that's a better way to phrase it. If, you, if you're ever watching it, a Let's Play of Ace Attorney, it's always better to to also watch through the third case instead of just skipping it because it can have some pretty funny dialogue and also some important plot pot, uh, plot points that got get brought up later. Uh, I can't speak today for some reason. I guess since it's been a couple months since I last recorded, but well, this is this is in the same recording session as the last episode. So it's been a couple months since I recorded that video before the last one. October 18th, Global Studios employee area. Look, it's that assistant girl. Hey. Hi, WP's people, right? I heard him at the trial. Great job, guys. Oh? Oh, ho, ho. don't mention it. And that trailer really caught that security lady? Oh, 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 ho, ho. Actually, he just called me. He told me to cover up that drain. You mean that one? Wow, what a mess. I, I know. I'm not so good with any work. Sure, my sister, right? Yeah, but you do work on the props and the backdrops, right? Right. Yes, lots of times they end up looking worse than they did before I fixed them. Oh, oh, well, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right, I won't. Personally, I think she should worry at least a little bit more. Um, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the garden station. I'm supposed to fill in for Miss Oldbag. Right, see you later then. Good luck with your investigation. And we're immediately going to destroy the drain cover. <laughs> But the fanboy they were talking about in the trial today, he came in through that drain? So it seems. Guess they covered it up in a hurry. Hey. Hey, Nick. If that drain's covered, the boy won't be able to get in. Uh, yeah, I think that was the idea. I feel kind of sorry for him, though, don't you? What, you want to rip the grid off? Really, Nick? We can? Whoa, she's serious? Uh-oh. Rip it open. Well, I guess some things are just made to be broken. Yay, you know, Nick, you're pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes? hi -ya! There, that should make the kids happy. The things we do. The drain grid is off, and I know who did it. Now the kids will be able to come in again. Doesn't it make you feel great to do a good deed like that? Must be nice to live so free of guilt. Anyways, back to the main gate. Hey, we broke your drain grate off. Ow. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you look a little out of place. It's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my camo vest might do the trick. Kind of an alternative guard fashion thing. So the studios. So how are the studios doing? There's police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let me clean up. Don't want me to disturb in evidence. I haven't even cleaned up our lunch plates from the day of the murder. You mean those plates with the steak bones left over on them in the employee area? Yeah, can you believe it? Do kids sneak in here a lot? Well, I don't think there's that many of them, but I do see one in particular a bunch. He's always gawking at the scents or snapping pictures. You should see old windbag's eyes flash when she sees them. She hasn't been of trouble catching them, though. I heard something at the trial today. They said that the director and the producer were here at the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I'm in a prop storage room, so I didn't see him. I guess they weren't here, though. And Junio had seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. So they were trying to protect the director? More the producer, really. The producer's our real star here. She saved the studios from the brink of disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'd still be in business if it, business if it weren't for that producer. The producer, huh? Well, have you seen my attorney's badge? 
Um, not really sure what that is. Sorry. Ah, crud. So, unfortunately, we're gonna head back to the employee area, and there's a character coming up that, uh, unfortunately, I have to voice. There might be a few lines that I have to skip just because they're so unpleasant. Dressing room. What are you frick? Who are you, Google Lamau? <laughs> huh? Wait. Wait, you first. Who are you? you? Look pretty suspicious to me. Where, lamers? How could you not know the great Salmonella? I'm a Chalit Shows. Steel Samurai? Mine. RTFC. Read your film credits. Really? You're the Salmonella? I'm so sorry. I just. You, you looked so. Sorry. No, no, quite all right, really. It's fine, Raffle. I'm gonna skip past this line of dialogue because I just do not want to read it. You could go ahead and read it for yourself. Yes, yes, it's coming to me. It's a pink princess. The sequel to the Steel Samurai. Pink princess. You're aware of the little old Tokyo. Raffle Lamau. Pink princess? Why does it gotta be little old Tokyo? Why can't it have a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? Maya, we really need to talk about cool. So yeah, he's certainly... A guy. Did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Oh, I know who you two are. The security lady told you about us, eh? That's right. It was a pretty regular day. We had a run through for an action scene this morning. Then a meeting from lunchtime in the Studio 2 trailer. <laughs> I was so busy I didn't even get a chance to eat lunch. T bone steak, was it? Yeah, suck swords. I'm miss missing out on food. Nick, what does suck swords mean? No idea. Anyway, I was in a meeting from noon until after 4 o'clock, which produces and some big leaks from the network. Mr. Hammer's time of, est of death was estimated at 2.30 p.m. He's telling us the truth, that, that meeting gives him an al alibi. The producer. About the producer who was at the meeting with you. Oh, you mean Dave Akkesh? He's a genius. Matt, Matt's killed all the way. Scary, though. She brought the old studios back for the break of destruction. She's the one who made it possible for me to make the steel samurai. You had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we just got for the news to fork off the whole time. The big wigs. Who exactly are- Ugh, I accidentally dipped Salmonella's voice for a second. Who exactly are those big wigs people keep mentioning? Oh, sponsors the network and your sponsors. Also, a few production guys. They apologize to a limousine and got here right around noon. Major attention, much. Were all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They're all gray haired geezers. Hmm. Sounds like they'd all be reliable witnesses. I hate you, but have you seen my attorney's badge? I try not to pay much attention to things that don't interest me all. Why are you staring at me like that? Ew! Ugh, just... Hold on. Just get out of here. I'll try my best to avoid him for the rest of... Forever. <laughs> so, in the trial, we learned about Studio 2. October 18, Studio 1 entrance. Hey, Nick! It looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. You're right. He's probably up to his neck in paperwork after the commotion at today's trial. So Nick, remember that Studio 2 we heard about at the trial today? It was down the path with a fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today. Now's our chance, Nick. Let's check it out. And with a new area comes a whole bunch of stuff to examine. October 18th, Studio 2 entry. This place is deserted. Eek! Nick, 
What, what was that noise? It sounded like you came from inside the trailer. Someone must be inside. Hello? No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. I'm not sure we should be barging in. Huh. Blocked. What? Don't we have a key? No. But there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. What are we waiting for? Let's borrow it. If they'll let us. So yeah, it seems like something's happening in that trailer. The trailer door. It's locked. The key is probably in the security guard station. I doubt they'd let us borrow it. They might not let us, but we might as well try. Studio main gate. Aha! You again! Eek! How rude, acting like you've seen a ghost. You certainly got back to your post quickly. Oh, the police took me away, they did. They pulled out a spare steel samurai costume, told me to put it on. Can you imagine? How could I, a sweet little old lady, wear a giant suit like that? Mr. Powers is pretty tall. As soon as they saw there was no way I could wear it, they let me go. I guess that would rule out her being the murderer. Anyway, know this, Whipper Snapper. This whole lady never forgets a slight or insult. And you won't get any information out of me. My lips are sealed. You sure are talking a lot for someone with sealed lips. Starting now. One, two, three. Mm. This lady's too much. She certainly is. The fanboy. Um, about that kid you said you saw. If I see him again, I'm taking him down. Nick, look at her eyes. She's serious. The director. About the director, the one who was here on the day of the murder. If I see him again, I'm taking him down. Nick, I think she's losing it. No, uh, I mean, if she's going to take down Salmonella, I'll let her. Anyways, right over here in the booth, there are some keys. Security guard station. I can see the computer that runs the security camera. Hey, no touching! I guess I'd better investigate there later. So yeah, we can't get into Studio 2 now, and I'll examine all those areas later. But I'll do that once we go back over there. Hey! Uh, hey, wait! I'll bet he came in right through that drain. Hey, um, Kiddio, what's your name, sport? Oh god, what voice should I do it for him? I'm not a kid, so don't... Uh, what voice should I do for him? Eh. <laughs> I'm not a kid. No, I can't do that. I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that. <laughs> huh? But you you are a kid. What a rude little brat. That's no way to talk to an adult. I don't see no adults here. Hippie fashion chick. Hippie fashion? Nick, I think I'm being mocked. You gotta hand it to Maya. She's pretty sharp and pretty mad. I'm Cody, Cody Hackins. Call me Kitty again and I'll get you down where you stand, evildoer. So yeah, this case is uh certainly a lot. Got a lot of, shall we say, characters. Steel Samurai. So you're a fan of the Steel Samurai? How dare you utter that name, evildoer? What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai side. Ha! <laughs> you can't fool me! Okay, then what's the last line said by the innkeeper in episode 8? Ha! <laughs> Easy. Like some fries to that? Hmph, not bad, kiddio. Watch it! What are they doing? Geeking out, Phoenix. Say, you heard anything about the incident the other day? You were here, weren't you? Did you see anything? He... he... He always... The Seal Samurai always wins. Always. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. W what? But, but no, I am telling you losers. What? Wait. Let me go. He's gone. Huh? Something fell off the table when he bumped into it on his way out. A bottle? Why was this sitting there, I wonder? Empty bottle slipped into pocket. Anyway... What was that kid saying? He saw everything? Well, with many questions raised, that's where we're going to have to leave off today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and chase after that kid. That sounds wrong. We're going to ask that kid more questions, and we're going to see what this bottle is all about. We're also going to investigate Studio 2, 
and hopefully not ever talk to Salmonella ever again for the rest of our lives. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!